Daryl, how's your back? Um, it's good. No yeah. problems during this game? No, nah, um, I did a last game, my back spasms, but treatment all day, uh, today, uh, yesterday, and last couple of days, I'm right. Uh, I'm good now. What was the major, I guess, the biggest thing with you guys offensively tonight, struggling wise? Um, I just, I guess our chemistry was just off. I mean, I really can't, honestly, I really can't tell you. I mean, we work hard in practice, trying to get our chemistry, trying to get everything going. I guess tonight we just struggled a little bit. Is, but the, is the layoff still, uh, you got a little rustiness from the layoff still? or? Um, not that I know of. I mean, still playing hard in practice, still trying to go hard, still trying to get better. So, I guess tonight was one of those nights, but our defense was, Able to um, hold hold it down, I guess. Ryan, where's your where's your comfort level now after uh, I guess about two months into the season? Uh, I feel real comfortable with the team and playing my role, knowing my role on the team. I go out there and help the guys out from off the bench, a big contribution off the bench in practice. Uh, help them go harder, make myself go harder as well too. What what do you see your role as right now? Well. My role is just to play hard. Just, I mean, uh, get a spark off the bench, uh, get guys going with my energy, and uh, be into the game. When I'm on the bench, cheer for my team. When I'm in the game, put up points, just put up numbers, just help the team win. Mm -hmm. Daryl, Coach went to the three forward, two guard lineup the last part of the second half, and it seemed to get you guys going a little bit. What was the, the I guess, the key there? Um, just trying to get the, trying to get the ball to whoever's going, I guess. I mean, just just trying to keep working it, um, working the post. I mean, we were trying to get open, um, post up really hard, and the guards were looking for us, so we was able to convert. Can you talk about that 10-2 run after they came back and tied the game on you? Um, I mean, nothing really changed. Our game plan was to get the ball inside and uh, get to the basket. Coach was telling us uh, the big guys in front court, post up, go to the basket. Daryl, they seem to go to you at, at the most at the more, most crucial times. You got the they tied the score, and you got the two free throws, and then I think two possessions later, you get the turnaround, jump right on the baseline. Can you just talk about sort of when the team goes to you offensively? It seems like almost they could go to you maybe more, but they it's, it doesn't quite happen that way. I mean, to, tonight I just told my teammates when they give it to me, I'm going. I told Ryan when I get it, just cut to the basket, and I'm going. And I told him the same when he gets it, I'm going to the basket. So. Just make it move and shoot the ball, and I'm trying to get the rebound. With the efficiency of your moves, like on the baseline, do you feel like they could, they could almost go to you maybe more often than they do now? Are I you mean, comfortable being a facilitator though? At the same I time? mean, I just want to help my team any kind of way. I mean, if they if they come if they bring the ball to my side, I'm just gonna attack, and if they don't, I'm just gonna put myself in position or put my teammates in the right position to get the get the point. So. Do you have that fadeaway jumper in uh, junior college? Oh, yes. I had it basically <laughs> all my life. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Any more questions for the guys? Yes. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.